What's going on smart people? Today is the day that I take the physics exit exam. That's the major field test provided by ETS. Uh, there's a lot of us taking it today. A lot of people in SPS are going to be taking it. So I'm about to go to ODU to meet up with some of them, get some last minute studying done, and get this test knocked out. Basically the test is on the big three things. Classical mechanics, e and and quantum, and then some stat mech, just all the other specialty stuff sprinkled in the test as well. Or that specialty stuff that was really kind of hard to study for because in a sense they're almost random questions I don't I don't quite understand the reason for putting in questions for classes that not everyone has taken but you know it is what it is but let's get going to ODU and see how everyone else is feeling who's ready for this exit it's just you <laughs> how you feeling uh, I don't know. I'm doing the sample test now. What about you? Know? I did most of it, and it kind of frustrated me, so I stopped doing it. Prescriber? The writer? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Click the subscribe button today. I always forget. Cool. We covered classical mechanics and E&M in about 10 minutes. You guys ready? Stop freaking out. Calm down. Who's uh, that? Did you hear that? I don't have gum, but it's time to take the last exit, ex first exit, ex uh, uh, take, take the exit exam time. Let's do this. What'd you think of the test? Same. What'd you think, Simon? I'm glad to have it over with. Oh my god, me too. It's over with. That's good to know. And we're back. Physics exit exam has been taken. That is over with. It does feel like a big load off my shoulders. The exam was a lot like I expected. It was a lot of um, recalling things off the top of your head. Uh, it's no secret that I'm not a huge fan of standardized tests. I understand wanting to create a set of questions that everyone has to answer across the board. That way you can objectively rank them against each other. I understand how useful that can be. And I like how one of my friends put it. He said, you know, if you're, if you're a pre-med student, and you're applying to become a doctor, you want to go to medical school and you have to take the MCAT. Well, throughout your biology degree that you're probably getting, you know, you're no stranger to having to take 200, 300 question multiple choice tests. And lo and behold, that's a lot like what the MCAT is like, so I'm told. Same thing goes for pre-law. What I'm getting at with that is with other fields, it seems like the standardized tests mirror the way that you're being taught. Until you get to physics, I can't remember the last physics exam I took where there was more than like seven or eight questions on it. And there definitely weren't any multiple choice questions on it. And this just begs the question to me as to why things like the GRE and the exit exam, the major field test, are so adamant that these tests be multiple choice and that these tests be so long. I, I don't understand it. I don't think it's an effective way of assessing what a physics major knows and how they think. but. I'm done talking about that for now. I'm just glad that that test is over with and I can move on to actually studying for my real final, which is quantum that's coming up next week. And I'm gonna get to that now. So I'm gonna cut the video now. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think of standardized tests. Am I just completely wrong here? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys there.